You know what? I love this long division so much I just can't hardly stand it. And I'm just tired of doing long division and coming up with a zero remainder. I'm wanting me a non-zero remainder, long division with non-zero remainder. So here I go. I have a function equation. 8x cubed minus 18x squared plus 21x minus 20. And I'm being asked to divide it by its factor of 2x or by, excuse me, by 2x minus 3. So here is my setup. I've got 2x minus 3, and I'm going to divide it into 8x cubed minus 18x squared plus 21x minus 20. And just as before, I'm looking, focusing on the lead term. How many times will 2x go into 8x cubed? Well, 2x will go into 8x cubed. 4x squared. I put my 4x squared over top of my x, 18x squared in the dividend. And now I'm going to multiply 4x squared times 2x. Well, that comes to 8x cubed minus 3 times 4x squared. Minus 3 times 4x squared is minus 12x squared. And as always, I put my stuff in parentheses. Stick a little minus sign out there to help me remember i got to change my signs. And 8x cubed minus 8x cubed is 0. And minus 18x squared plus 12x squared is going to give me minus 6x squared. I'm going to bring my 21x down. And so now I've got minus 6x squared plus 21x and... I'm only focusing on the lead terms. How many times will 2x go into minus 6x squared? Well, it looks to me like that will go in there minus 3x. I put my minus 3x above the 21x. Put the minus 3x in the quotient above the 21x in the dividend. And now I'm going to multiply minus 3x times the divisor minus 3x times 2x is going to give me minus 6x squared, and minus 3x times 3 is going to give me plus 9. I'm sticking them inside parentheses, popping them minus sign out front to help me remember what? Remember to change my signs. So minus 6x squared plus 6x squared is 0, and plus 21x minus 9x is 12x. Let's bring on down this 20. How about it? And again, well, how many times will 2x go into 12x? Well, I think it's going to go in there six times. And six times 2x gives me 12x. Six minus three, I mean, excuse me, six times minus three gives me minus 18. Let's slap the little parentheses around there, stick a minus sign out front. And I've got 12x minus 12x. Minus 20 plus 18 gives me 2. Minus 2. Hmm. Minus 2. I have a remainder. Now I'm so happy. So how do I write this thing? Well, I've got my quotient here. And so I've got 4x squared minus 3x plus 6. But I have a remainder of minus 2. Picking up the minus from right there. Minus 2 over the divisor, 2x minus 3. Now I've got an x in the denominator of my remainder here. And I know I cannot try to divide by 0. So in this case, x cannot equal 3 halves or 3 over 2. And there we go. Guess what we're doing? Long division with a non-zero remainder. Now, if that wasn't exciting enough, now I'm going to move forward and I am going to do long division of a polynomial with a degree 2 or higher divisor. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I got a function equation. It is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 6. I'm being asked to divide it by x squared plus 3x minus 4. So I do my setup, same as before. So I've got x squared plus 3x minus 4 as my divisor. And my dividend, 
my old trusty dividend right down under here is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 6. As always, only thing I'm really concerned about are these lead terms. What's happening with these lead terms? How many times will x squared go into 2x cubed? Looks like to me it'll go into x. Now, I've got to keep myself lined up. And since my quotient at the present time, it just gives me a 2x. I got to place it above the x term in the dividend. Now I'm going to multiply back, and I've got to multiply this 2x times three terms. I got 2x squared, I mean 2x times x squared. Well, that gives me 2x cubed. I've got 2x times 3x. Well, that's 6x squared. And I've got 2x times minus 4, minus 8x. I am going to do what? You bet. I'm going to put a parentheses around here, throw a minus sign out front. And I got 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. I have 5x squared minus 6x squared. Well, that's going to give me a minus x squared. And I've got minus 7x plus 8x. Well, that's just going to give me an x. And now it's time to bring down this 6. And so now I'm looking at x squared plus 3x minus 4 dividing into minus x squared plus x plus 6. Try saying that fast. All right. How many times will x squared go into minus x squared? How about minus 1? Because when I multiply this back, minus 1 times x squared gives me minus x squared. And minus 1 times 3x, well, that gives me minus 3x. And minus 1 times minus 4, how about that? It is plus 4. And what do I want to do? I love the parentheses. Throw the minus sign out front. And so I got minus x squared plus x squared. Well, that comes to 0. And I've got x plus 3x. Well, that comes to 4x. And then I've got 6 minus 4. Well, that gives me 2. Well, I'm at the end of the road. I've got a remainder of 4x plus 2. Let's write this thing out. Well, first thing I'm going to do is write what my quotient is up here, which is 2x minus 1. And it is plus, because this is plus, plus 4x plus 2 over my divisor of x squared plus 3x minus 4. And I am done. I have perform division by of a polynomial of two degrees or higher.